Hello all. Alright, today I'm going to talk about a couple environmental issues. One is the rusty patch bumblebee, which was just put on the endangered list by Obama. And of course, because Trump can't stand Obama, he uh, got rid of the protection on the bumblebee. What's the problem with this? Who cares about a damn bee anyway, huh? Well, everybody should care very much about a bee. If we're having to put our pollinators on an endangered species list, we know we're in trouble. Well, let's go on and continue on with the ride and then we'll talk about why the bumblebee is on the endangered species list. Well, no longer on the endangered species list, but it should be. Wow, really getting windy now. The National Resources Defense Council has filed a lawsuit against Trump for taking it off the endangered species list. There are 47 different species of wild bumblebee in North America from Mexico all the way up to Canada. And one quarter of those bees are now considered endangered or close to endangered. Some are even uh, on the chopping block and may become extinct very shortly. So what's the main cause of all these insects being wiped out? Yeah, it's pesticides, neonicotinoids. Those need to be banned immediately. Trump wants to keep them going. Trump sees nothing wrong with them. I think somebody needs to tell Trump about neonicotinoids before it's too late. If we were to lose all of our pollinators, we would have to hand pollinate every plant that requires bees to pollinate them now. Do you know how many plants there are and how many people that would take and how difficult that is? And if you missed one species, one plant species, and it was an annual and died out, it could never come back. You just lost it forever. That's one of the big reasons you don't want to get rid of your bees. You want those on the endangered species list so that then the EPA here in the U.S. could ban neonicotinoid pesticides. Isn't that the smart thing to do? So these pesticides don't just hurt insects. No, 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 no. These are deadly uh, chemicals for hummingbirds, butterflies, bats, earthworms, and yes, marine life, such as what lives on these on the coral reefs are uh, highly affected by neonicotinoids and other pesticides. The reason we don't get rid of them, even though they're considered to be harmful to everything, just about everything, in the long run, uh, they make $2.9 million annually on that pesticide alone. You'll find that this pesticide, this uh, neonicotinoids in Roundup Ready and other pesticides, this neonicotinoid is not that old and it's already found in the ground, in the air, in humans, in their brains, in their organs, at high levels already. It's also found in all waterways, so it's a good idea to get rid of these things, but uh, they're not too interested in getting rid of them. So here in the U.S. we have a state called Indiana, and they have hardwood forests in Indiana or did have hardwood forests. They are heavily being logged. And why is that? Well, there's been too many Republican governors in the state to, in consecutive, uh, one after another. There used to be protection for their national forests. And then in 2002, they decided to cut down all but 5% of their entire forests. So that got dropped down to 3%. Many, many trails and public lands are now being closed that were on these public lands at one time. So I suggest that any, anybody might want to try and work on something to try and stop this logging. But uh, soon there won't be any uh, forest lands in Indiana at all. And the way that, that Trump is doing uh, his environmental regulations, it looks like that'll be nationwide. We won't have forest or nation, national lands. Everything will be private. You will truly be in that era where a tree is found only in a museum. Uh, by the way, in just the last year, logging is up 400% from just last year alone. It's a wholesale gut of their forest lands. That's what the planet needs. Less trees? <laughs> okay, let's go over and see what the CO2 count is. Just the other day, the CO2 count was 408.27. That's quite high. That's a lot higher from, than it was last year. Let's go see what it is today. 
So the CO2 count for March 1, 2017 is 406.76 parts per million. In 2016 it was 403.52 parts per million. An increase of 3.24 parts per million. So there's all kinds of terrible things happening around the planet with this year's warm-up after its northern hemisphere winter. Let's go over the board and I'll show you what I mean. So there's a permafrost melt all over the globe happening in Siberia, Canada, Alaska, and Scandinavia. Just to, to uh, name some of the few places that is having an overall melting this year. 52,000 square miles just in Canada alone of permafrost melting at extreme rates. Uh, they know that CO2 is pouring out of this area, but they don't have a clue to how much methane is pouring out of here. In past videos, we saw that NASA took some pictures once and showed the Arctic a massive amount of methane release and CO2 release. I suspect that uh, this is going to be much worse than anything we've seen before. Another horrible thing is in the Antarctic. The temperatures are at an all-time high of 63.5 degrees Fahrenheit or 17.4 degrees Celsius. This very well could be the feedback loop that scientists and climate scientists have been talking about ever since the 60s, that the heat would end up melting all the permafrost and the amount of CO2 and methane trapped in there that would be released would cause catastrophic climate change that we could never stop. Right now, that looks like what's happening, but maybe not. Okay, well, I appreciate all your last comments. Again, some people's comments end up in spam, but what I'm doing is just copying and posting them myself. So we'll get you out there. Google, you're not going to shut down the pink barrio. We refused to shut down. I don't think Google likes the pink barrio. They don't really like the truth either. But then the truth is something the humans don't seem to like much at all. But that's not the true meaning. The walls are caving in and it leaves more feelings. But the only one that matters is I won't be defeated. So until next time.